come and ask questions, DMs, messages. How do I get over loneliness? How do I get over feeling being lonely? How do I make friends? I mean, the questions I get are pretty endless here. So as lonely as it might feel to be lonely and as isolating as that might seem, know that you are actually not alone in feeling that way. So in this video specifically, I'm going to be talking about... So we're going to compare... We're, we're, we're comparing how black women and white women are viewing this controversial lonely man article. And what we've seen from ma most majority of the black women's response to the article, they automatically assume that the article was pinpointly uh, based off of black men who like Kevin Samuels, who or who are a part or, or who are a part of the Manosphere, I think only Kimberly Foster was uh, the the writer for Fort Harriet was the only one who included white men. But she, her again, her top, her focus was black men. And trying to compare Kevin Samuel followers to incels who have committed mass murders, and we, again, I, I've I've gotten frustrated with black women because this has really nothing to do with us. Yes, we can relate, but the article really doesn't have anything to do with it. Not much, I, I don't believe. Male loneliness. I know that women can obviously feel lonely as well. I found so many great articles about this and I want to share little snippets of them with you because I think it's something that we really underestimate as a society how important human connection is, how important human interaction is, and how being lonely is detrimental to men and our society in general. And I think when you know this, it can kind of help you make sure that you're not doing this in your own life and you're really trying to put yourself out there, make connections with people and be the best you that you can be because I know that loneliness is something that affects so many of you. So let's get started. So and the main thing you're noticing with, white, with this white woman's approach is that she's trying to be understanding. Grant, I'm, in the future, I'm going to disagree with some of her talking points. But you can see, again, she's make, she's not putting this on white men or, or trying to make this a American men, Western men versus, you know, whatever. She's talking about solutions, positive solutions to continue to build up the world. Versus these other bitches, black women in particular... Uh, black women in, in particular um, who are just using it to feel better about their, their loneliness. Many men are yearning for a connection, whether it be a community, a friend, a significant other, and men actually struggle with loneliness way more than women do. Men tend to struggle with isolation and loneliness far more than women do and are actually less likely to admit it. Like I said before, in my entry for- I, I kind of think this is bullshit that, that men are less likely to admit it because uh, a lot of these men can find forums and it's really easy to actually find men who actually agree with you. The issue is you don't find women who can either agree with you or just accept you for how you are. And this is why social politics and dating aren't meshing well. And you, you're, 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 hear, you're hearing bitches complain about, oh, my boyfriend's a Trump supporter and, and shit like that. Or, you know, my girlfriend is, is now into feminism. Social politics is fucking up men's dating options. One of my most asked questions is regarding loneliness. How can I get over feeling lonely? How can I make friends? How can I put myself out there? How can I do this, this? And it all just comes back to this feeling of being lonely and kind of this desperation. The frustration is that men have re men really don't have a problem finding other guys to relate to even as an educated lame a loner myself 
I can easily find guys I can talk to. I can I can easily, you know, hey, um, hey, let, let's go to this bar. Let's go see. Let's meet up with this. Let's let's see if we can, um, you know, get some women and some shit. Let's just bullshit and drink out. We we can do that. We can do that easily. The issue is that women don't show up when we invite them. It's like pulling goddamn teeth with them. That's why guys get frustrated and lonely because we're tired of hanging out with the guys all day. It, it it's so constant, and when when we want to, you know, this is this is y'all's buzzwords that y'all love using. When we want to be vulnerable, we have nobody to do that with, and we've already feel bad or feel kind of weak being vulnerable to our guys when we, you know, fuck up with a girl and, you know, we're at the, you know, the doorstep and like, hey, bro, she broke my heart. Like, you know, you know, let me, let's, let me just crash at your place. Like, guys been through that shit. And it's not cool or not respectable when we do that too much. Or we put ourselves in these compromising situations. Also, that stems from it a little bit. I think when we're lonely and we don't have any positive influence in our lives or any great people that we're surrounding ourselves with or really just anyone to connect with on a deeper level, you almost get a sense of hopelessness and desperation and you feel alone. You feel alone and powerless in a world full of so many people. So I know that so many of you feel this way because you've told me yourself that you feel this way. So I really wanna go over how loneliness is impacting you. And then also as in typical Courtney fashion, we're gonna offer some solutions for you at the end of the video because I think anytime you present a problem, I think it's also really important to present the solutions because typically there's always a solution to problems. So I'm gonna share with you. And you notice the black women who were mocking us they weren't offering solutions they, they they didn't even give a damn and then these were the same bitches crying about they, they ain't got no man or niggas or, or colorists or their, their passport bros some things from this article that i found it says loneliness is not only an unpleasant feeling it is an interpersonal impairment that causes significant harm in the lives of men Research suggests that a focus on the accumulation of wealth and material goods results in less overall happiness in life and less satisfaction in intimate relationships. The Harvard study of adult development followed a group of men for eight decades. Throughout the study, at different points in their lives, the men were asked, who would you call in the middle of the night if you were sick or afraid? Those men who had someone to turn to were happier in their lives and their marriages and also physically healthier over time. The danger here is not only the emotional cost of loneliness, although that is substantial. Close relationships with other people have more of an impact on our physical health and longevity than even our genes do. A satisfying relationship life can extend longevity by up to 22%. Loneliness is a risk factor comparable to smoking, obesity, and high blood pressure. Loneliness in men is correlated with cardiovascular disease and stroke, 80% of successful suicides are men, and one of the leading contributing factors is loneliness. While many physicians ask questions about risk factors such as smoking and alcohol consumption during an annual physical, the research suggests that they should also be asking how satisfying their patients' closest relationships are. And when I tell you, after I read this article and read those two paragraphs, I what I like gasped when I read. So she has a heart. She has a fucking heart and saw compassion that no matter what these guys believed in, they deserve some type of mercy and respect. And this is coming from a dainty, submissive, feminine white woman who's probably married. And you, you couldn't even get this bullshit or the same type of sympathy from black female therapists. Dr. Tiasan Johnson today uh, already made a post about um, people's reactions to black female therapists. And a lot of black men have commented saying that a lot of them are harsh. 
and that their 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 um, their methodology is unforgiving, and they they victim blame the their own patients, their their own black male patients, and we already had the other video that Dr. T. S. On Johnson reviewed with the young black woman in Jaguar shorts, um, cussing out black men for not seeking therapy or professional help. So we get cussed out, white men get respect. <laughs> that because I just could not believe the fact that we don't even talk about this, how as humans we need- and, and just imagine if you took Becky, this white girl, to the black community, to the black manosphere, and tell her our own issues that we have with our own women, this bitch will probably be in tears. We, <laughs> Connection with other people. We long for it. We need it. And there are so many men and people in general who are just so lonely. They don't connect with anybody. And then it gets to a point where, think about OnlyFans for a minute. And the reason why people call it lonely fans, because a lot of the people who subscribe to content on OnlyFans. So this girl isn't just textbook, she's real life. We'll call it lonely fans are lonely. They feel like they have no one to talk to. They feel like they have no one to connect with. So they're willing to pay a subscription service per month to talk to a creator or feel like they have this emotional or just a general connection with another person when a lot of the time it's not even the creator that they're talking to. It's literally like someone the creator is paying to message all these people or whatever it is. You can pay for different things on there. But a lot of men pay for that or just pay women to talk to them in general and don't even think twice about it because they are so desperate for this connection. And you know, I'm so fat. Brendan, you're not fat. It's the shirt. Look at Nate. His true classic is tight around the chest and shoulders and arms, and then it tapers off towards the bottom. Nate also has six-pack abs. The point is, the I used to have a very judgmental view of people like that, but I truly don't know what it's like to experience loneliness to that level, and to feel loneliness to an extent that you're willing to pay someone to talk to you, is just so sad to me and I think it could be avoided in so many different ways if people would recognize this and how big of an impact it has on your life, number one, but also the ways that they can fix it. So why are men so lonely? Number one, a lack of vulnerability, um, an inability to connect with people on a deeper level, showing no emotion, feeling like you have to act tough or put up a front all the time, act like you're okay when you're not, um, you know, going back to the little snippet I read from the article, 80% of successful suicides are men. 80%. That's insane. Again, a sense of vulnerability, a sense of, of compassion. You don't get this in our community. And so sad and, you know, society and stigma, I think has a lot to do with that as well. Again, showing no emotion acting like you have it all together when you don't, pretending you're okay, feeling alone and helpless and having no one to turn to is a horrible feeling. And another one is a lack of bonding opportunities. A lot of men are really focused on their career and making money and aren't really nourishing relationships or friendships as much as they should be. So that's- Oh, cause we're practically work to fucking death. And the, the issue is that um, when it comes to black men, we can't connect to our own women. Especially thinking, uh, thinking black men, black men in the manuscript. We we can't relate. It's it's damn near impossible to relate, even as a conscious pro black person, man. Especially, it is damn near impossible to relate to a black woman. My father had the same fucking issue back in the nineties, trying to get my Catholic black mother to relate to his viewpoint, and she couldn't even do it. She couldn't even do it. It's it, 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 it's frustrating. And even with my dad's new wife, you know, she can accept it, but still, it, there, he's he's still the only dog in the fight when it comes to his views. It, it's really just me. It's really just you know, me, my little brother, and my dad who just have the same views. It, it's it's damn near impossible to for for really thinking black men to have to get our women on the same page. 
you, and you, you saw this with voting and how bad it was with, with the whole Trump versus Biden and, and black women were so confused on why black men were just throwing in the towels like, hey, we're done. The, 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 the fact that black female electives and politicians don't even understand their black votes, their black male votes. They, they don't understand it. From Stacey Abrams to all that, the, 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 Atlanta, the Atlanta strippers, that fiasco. Nobody takes the, they, black women are lazy. They don't take the time to get to know us. Black women were barely pro-black pre-Trayvon Martin, pre-BLM. Uh, I already knew black men by the, by the hundreds who were already off of that Christianity bullshit. Black women were dead strong on that white Jesus bullshit. We literally had to clown black women off of YouTube. To get them off that Christianity bullshit. We can't. We, we're not even relatable to our own women, man. <laughs> On this article that said, men often don't have close friends. In heterosexual relationships, women often maintain friendships for the couple. And then they also said, boys start out feeling as connected in their friendships as girls do, but they tend to neglect personal relationships to pursue external success. When men lose the protective social structures provided in high school and college, they often find themselves interpersonally adrift, unsure how to establish or maintain close relationships with other men or women. And that's why, you know, men feel a sense of loneliness more than women do because they don't know how to connect with people. They're like, oh, it's weird if I ask this guy to go out to dinner with me, or it's weird if I do this, where girls don't even think twice about it. Like, I hang out with my friends, I go out to dinner, we go out to dinner together, we do whatever together, and a lot of men just don't feel comfortable doing that. Um, and I do think, you know, as a society, we are definitely progressing in that area where it's normal to connect with people. It's okay to be vulnerable and have a deep connection with someone and connect the way that humans are meant to connect, right? When you look at the statistics and the way that loneliness impacts your mental health and your physical well-being, I think that should light a little fire under you to make an effort to want to connect with people um, in a real way. And I know with social media, you feel like you have all these people at your fingertips and you have access to all these people, but it can often make you feel even more alone sometimes. So I would encourage you all to really take a look at your life and the people that you surround yourself with or if you don't surround yourself with people and understand why that is the case and what you can do to improve this and make it better. Humans are meant to connect with each other and I think this just goes to show how much loneliness can harm people and get them in trouble. Loneliness is obviously causing- No, she's not, she's not, she hasn't even once said the word, the word incel, manosphere, um, virgin, male virgin, loser, dork, no name calling. This is as professional as it gets. Hey, I'm, I'm practically damn near shocked. Because we don't get this. Especially in the black community. We don't get grace, mercy, um, or patience. We just, we're just told we ain't shit. Mental and physical pain for a lot of people. But I think even more than that... It leads you to making poor choices for your life and yourself. It leads to a scarcity mentality of, oh, I'm never gonna find anyone, so this is the girl for me. And then you become needy and clingy, or you pay for a girl on OnlyFans. You pay for a connection with someone. She's, she's going heavy. Like, you can tell she's had real clients and she knows what she's talking about. So don't play with her. Because you feel like you can't get that naturally. It just leads to a ton of really negative things for men. When you look at it big picture, I think that loneliness is a root for a lot of people as to why they make poor choices and why they feel depressed and why they feel unfulfilled and unhappy. And I know that you can't rely on other people for that, but at the end of the day, we're humans and we're meant to connect. And I think realizing that and recognizing it for yourself and your own life is really important for your growth as a human and your personal development. As much as we sometimes wanna feel like we're self-sufficient and we can do everything on our own with nobody's help and nobody around us, we're meant to connect with people and having close and that's the difference between black men and black women black men are not saying a hundred are not completely saying that hey we don't need black women at all we don't need a community 
we've been asking for teamwork from the other side for the longest. And our hand has continuously been slapped out of been slapped out out of range. It's black women who are walking around with the soft life, luxury lifestyle entitlement, and they don't want to work with us. And truth be told, they don't even work with each other. Hardly, you know, they're just they're just egotistical. They just want to walk around like boss bitches and act like they can make magic out of anything. And when we want them to team up, when we ask for the 50-50, when we ask to put resources together, they don't want to do it. Now all of a sudden it's all my my all I, I'm you know, I'm it's now it's a hundred percent me, zero percent you, and I'm just supposed to be happy of just being in the presence of a woman. Relationships that you can nourish as a human is really important for everyone, not just women, but men too. If you're texting a girl you really like, but she's leaving you on red, waiting hours to reply, or ghosting... So now, some ways that we can combat loneliness. Listen, I've been there. I put myself in a place of being lonely. I would always say no to plans. People would invite me out. I would say no. Maybe it's because they were going out drinking, and I didn't want to drink, so I just wouldn't go. Or, you know, I would rather lay in my bed and work, or whatever it is. I know there's so many reasons why we say no to things. And as great as it is to set boundaries and to be able to say no, I do think saying yes sometimes is important. Loneliness for a lot of people is a choice. Maybe you're saying no to things like I did. Maybe you are an introvert and you really don't like to go out and do things. As great as that is for many reasons, I do think it's important to still make sure that you are getting some human connection. You could join a gym or a fitness class. This is a great place to meet people in a classroom setting with like-minded people who are there to better themselves, to be healthy. I mean, yeah, I mean, this, this is kind of going into like more of that little, this, this whole dating coach bullshit where all these alpha males are telling you to go to the gym and then just put, just, just take all these pills work out every freaking day for four hours a day and you know don't don't touch yourself don't masturbate um you know get off the junk food and, and again the, the gym is not always going to give you the results you want so just keep in mind that you especially for a guy who wasn't all that into the gym you're, you're not going to come off super buff in like four months. It might even take years. Or it might not even happen at all. So, again, I, I appreciate the gym. You know, it's, it's very important. But even for me, as I go to the gym, I don't go there to, to, to meet and greet. You know, uh, I, don't, I don't find the faces relatable to me. So if you're gonna do go to the gym, that's more of a, a thing of uh, that's more of a goal that you use for yourself. You know, uh, I've I've worked out with with groups, but in the, the issue is like, I I kind of get tired of it because niggas like to freaking compete, and it's like I'm not try I'm not with trying to compete, and you know this nigga squat uh three three fifty. And he's mad because someone shorter than him is squatting 375 or something. And that becomes like a tussle. It's like, I'm just trying to get in, get out. I'm not, I'm not with the ego. And that, that, that's, that's kind of like the problem with the gym is that it's full of fucking ego. And to get their body moving. So great place to meet someone, especially if you're into fitness or even you're just starting out. It's a great place to meet someone no matter where you're at in your fitness journey. Number two, kind of similar to the fitness class, is to join local communities or groups of people that have similar interests to you. So I actually follow this girl, and she. Okay, okay we we're already doing that. A lot of a lot of men are already in man of spear groups. We're already doing that. So again, this is shit that we've already been doing in the black manosphere. The thing is, is that. We've been improving. She's probably going to talk about investments, uh, which we've already been doing. We've been into crypto and stock marks, stocks and stocks. Um, you know that, that's pretty much it. Because that's really all I, 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 all I needed from her was was basically 
just for you guys to see the difference in the tone. There, and there was there was no epithets used. But I, I already know where she's going to go with this, you know, do community service, um, gain a hobby, invest, go to school, uh, learn something new. It, 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 it's trivial. And, and, and that's why I, I kind of, I don't really like women giving solutions to male problems because it's it's not we've it's not about it is it's not about boredom as in isolation as in these dudes have nobody to talk to. They have plenty of people to talk to. The issue is that they have too many males to talk to. And there's not enough female interaction. That's the thing. They need female interaction. She wants the thing is she's trying to substitute that with hobbies and shit that will get you off your mind. That may be good for somebody who's suicidal or is in a deep depression. But you still need to have a society of women who are interested in, in, in repairing or in being patient with guys like that. And the majority of women aren't. So you're basically giving guys free homework assignment, busy assignments to do nothing and gain nothing and be rewarded with nothing. So it's fucking pointless. He started a Girls Who Walk group in New York City. So on Sundays, all... Uh, yeah, again, female solutions. You can't use female solutions because with a lot of females who are depressed, they can't date. Nobody's looking at them. So He's she's, she's doing the same shit. It's, it's, it's busy assignments. They walk around. Um, do it with people that want to do it. And you could even start by joining something online. Start talking to people online and join. Again, it. Manosphere. We've been doing that shit. They do. Um, I really like seeing you guys talk to each other in the comment section. The most obvious ones, and that is social media and really utilizing this to your advantage. I know, again, it's one of the we, things. We've been doing this. We, we've already hashtag past bro, bro, bros to where we got black women big angry. That we're, that we're exercising our options. And they don't even like that. It sometimes makes you feel more alone, but if you use it the right way, it can do not try it all. By not trying it all, you're already failing. And you don't even me, or maybe they'll reject me, or maybe they won't message me back. Someone uh, with messaging them and saying, hey, I'm on Instagram. I've asked them to be in videos, or I've just messaged them, you know, saying, hey, uh, I'm in Cleveland too, would love to get together sometime and meet up. Or if I see someone on Instagram that I think that I would get along with, just messaging them and saying, hey, uh, we both live in Cleveland, would love to meet up sometime. Yeah, she, she, now nah, she's getting a little bit too naive, especially if you're a non-select black guy. You you know reaching out to to women on inst, on Instagram, you know, you're, you're just going to get blocked. And you'll, you'll, you'll get blocked a lot easier on Instagram by women than you are on Facebook. So she, she's, she's kind of she, she's kind of giving like some, some goofball advice here. Like it really all it takes is putting yourself out there. And I know that's scary. I know it feels very vulnerable to put yourself out there and message someone. I mean, that's what's going to happen. You, that, yeah, the, these guys will have to put themselves out there. But again, when you don't have a good ratio of guys getting what they want, what the fuck is all this therapeutic bullshit for? Uh, with the fear of maybe they won't want to hang out with me, or maybe they'll reject me, or maybe they won't message me back. And, you know, it's better to try and to get nothing rather than to not try at all. By not trying at all, you're already failing, and you don't even give yourself the opportunity to succeed. So I think it's better to just get out of your comfort zone a little bit, put yourself out there. The worst that's going to happen is the person goes to you and doesn't reply. Yeah, you say it's a big deal, but you're a woman, and you're a modern woman. Drop like shippers, to it's time to focus to where it's already expected. on what you do best. So go to Wix. Big whoop. And my last it's not it's not a big whoop because in the in the black community, black men are trying to build black family. We're literally trying to do missions. Black white black white people, ugh, white people and other races of, of people of men, they already got what they want. They already got the community. They already they, they already got 
um, 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 establishments, institutions. They already got that. Them dating is, is just basically that. It's just dating. Black folks, on the other hand, we're, we're dating on missions. Where we're, we're trying to repair the black family, um, uh, uplift black businesses. We're, we're trying to get black boys at in the home, black men in the home. We're trying to get black men in school, you know, get girls off the street, protect black women. It's a mission. Here is to invest in your friendships and nourish the relationships in your life, whether that be a partner or your friend or your family. Really make sure you're taking the time to put in effort for these relationships and don't just put them on the back burner because you're more focused on work or making money. I know that life gets busy and, you know, with this hustle grind culture, we can get very caught up in working and trying to do all these things. But I really the, the thing is, is that she needs to learn how to call out women. And she needs to learn how to say, hey, I know that these guys may not be everything. They may not be all that to you now, but you are going to be the face and the cause of a social economic downfall spiral of unmotivated men. And the last thing that we need in an epidemic to where we're fighting two diseases is Men who are shut off from society and have given women the middle finger. That's what needs to be that. That's what needs to be said by this woman. You need to call these women out. 